G'day YouTube. Um, this is a quick video on matching colours. So I've got some fan decks here, some colour chips and a colour chart. Um, I generally try and use these ones. These are Waddle um, colour chips which you get from the Waddle store. Um, that's a typical painter's fan deck that you'll use. Um, most painters will have one of those. A bit harder to match off them because of the size of the colour chips. Uh, same with the um, colour charts here, they're quite small. Um, I'll show you first how to match with these. Uh, what you've got to do is when you want to, when you see the colours, you can see there's a lot of colours there. When you look at these colours, your, your eyes will actually be put off by the other colours and the colour will look different. So you can't just go like that and hope that that colour will be that because these other colours are throwing it off. So what you've actually got to do is you've got to isolate the colour against the wall and you can see that's much darker than what that wall is. Um, so I'll pick another colour here, this, this one. So here's a fan deck, same thing. You've got a lot of colours there to choose from. So you're going to go straight over to something like that. And you can see there what you've then got to do is isolate that colour. And that's a fairly good match. I'll probably go a little bit lighter than that. Um, but the best one, the easiest one, is to use these Waddle uh, colour chips, which I get from any Waddle store for free. And what I basically do is I keep these in the unit and I pick, say, 10. I hold up these 10 to the wall and then it's, it's quite obvious which ones are close um, and which ones aren't, so basically all of these are out. That one, that one's not close but it's a good starting point. I throw them in a, like a junk pile on the, on the ground there. So that's, that's a starting point. Then I'll put this in a separate pile over here and I'll keep going through my deck and I'll keep doing that five or six times until I've got about 10 to choose from that are similar to that wall. So that I can basically cancel them. Mm -hmm. So I'm throwing those in the junk pile there. I've got three very similar colours there with this other one. I'll do it one more time. Um, I mean, I've got a big pile of these about this big, uh, but I'm only using a small amount of them for this video. One more time, so we go like that. Cancel all them out. Okay, so now we're left with a pile of colours that are quite similar to the wall. And basically, what we do is we take out the ones that are. I've got too much red in it. It's too beige. Too much cream. Too beige. Too, too dark. Too dark too light and we're back to out of those four that one's you know, you're getting very uh, very close now that's got too much red a bit too much blue in those ones so then you're down to these two now either of those would be an acceptable colour match for that wall that's probably a touch darker so I'd probably go with that one there so natural silver is that wall just with these uh, colours sometimes you'll go into uh, different paint shops and uh, you might go into you might go into Waddle with Dulux colours or Dulux with Waddle colours. Most of the time that'll be okay. You just have to tell the paint shop which brand colour chip you've got the colour from. Like Waddle could have an antique white and Dulux could have an antique white. They may not be exactly the same. Also, don't mix up paints. Don't buy some paint from Dulux and buy some paint from Waddle or Torbans. Buy them all from the same place. Um, it's not uncommon for them to have old and new colours where. Um, the old colour could be slightly lighter or darker than the new colour either.